If you have been looking into some cryptos lately, you probably have heard about ERC-20 tokens. Simply, an ERC-20 token is a digital token that has some value or a function. It can function as a currency that people use to make purchases. Also, ERC-20 tokens can be used as loyalty points for an online platform, like travel agencies, for example, or they can represent ownership of shares in a company. They can be used as a lot of things, but the most important thing here is that they can be traded between people like any other cryptocurrency. ERC-20 tokens are developed and running on the Ethereum blockchain, which means that they don't have a separate blockchain like Bitcoin or Solana. For example, the Shiba Inu token is an ERC-20 token developed on the Ethereum blockchain. So the Shiba Inu team doesn't have to worry about creating a new blockchain, fixing bugs, or maintaining anything at all. They just write small pieces of code and use the Ethereum blockchain as the infrastructure for their token, which makes it very easy for anyone to create his token even if you don't have any technical knowledge. In this video, you will learn what exactly is an ERC-20 token, how these tokens are created, benefits of creating your token as an ERC-20 token, and finally, some drawbacks of ERC-20 tokens. We have included timestamps so you can easily skip to any part you want. So, let's get started. Let's first start with the name. ERC stand for Ethereum Request for Comments, which may sound a little intimidating at first, but it is really simple. An ERC is a guideline or a set of rules developers follow while developing apps or tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, and 20 is the unique ID or serial number of the ERC. There are a lot of other ERC standards on the Ethereum network, like the ERC721 standard for creating NFT. So, why would developers follow these standards? Can't they just write the code however they want? Well, following these standards makes their life a lot easier, as it makes their applications and tokens compatible with a lot of wallets and exchanges. The ERC20 standard was proposed in 2015 by the developer Fadian Vogelsteller. Before creating this standard, Development teams wrote the code for their tokens in different ways, and crypto exchanges needed to do extra work and write additional code to integrate any of these new tokens with their platform. You can think of it like having a computer, but each accessory you buy has a different connector. So you have to buy an adapter for each connector type, but if all accessories use the same connector type like the USB, for example, it gets a lot easier to connect these accessories and you won't need to buy any adapters. So the ERC-20 standard is like the USB standard for connectors. It allows exchanges and wallets to integrate with these new tokens without any additional efforts. Some popular examples of ERC-20 tokens are Shiba Inu, Tether, USDC, and the Uniswap token. So what exactly is an ERC-20 token? An ERC-20 token is basically a smart contract. If you don't know what is a smart contract, it is a piece of code that executes transactions automatically when certain conditions are met. This smart contract has a wallet address and can store, send, and receive cryptocurrencies, just like a crypto wallet. You can think of a smart contract simply as a piece of code that controls its own bank account. If you know anything about smart contracts, you would know that they can perform a lot of functions which makes ERC-20 tokens usable in a lot of ways. ERC-20 tokens can be used as a normal cryptocurrency used to make purchases like the Shiba Inu token. They can be used as an in-game currency like the Mana token in Decentraland. Also, an ERC-20 token can be used to represent the price of the US dollar. For example, Tether is an ERC-20 token with a constant price of $1. This type of cryptocurrencies is called stablecoin. If you are confused with stablecoins, we will release a full video about them soon. Subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications bell to be notified when we release it. Anyways, these ERC-20 tokens are running on the Ethereum blockchain, 
And if you make a transaction with these tokens, you have to pay the gas fees of the Ethereum network. This gas fee is the network's reward for validating your transaction, and it is paid in Ether. For example, if you want to send some Shiba tokens to your friend, you will pay $15 in gas fees, which is equivalent to 0.004 ETH. Keep in mind that this fee is for example, and it changes frequently according to the load on the Ethereum network, and you need to pay it in Ether. So if you have an ERC20 token like the Shiba tokens in your wallet, but don't have any Ethereum, you won't be able to send it or swap it for any other token. So, how an ERC20 token is created? Well, anyone can create an ERC20 token by writing a smart contract and running it on the Ethereum blockchain. This smart contract is written using the Solidity language most of the times, and if you have any experience with JavaScript, you can figure it out with no problems. To make your token compatible with most exchanges and wallets, you will need to follow six obligatory rules and three optional rules. If you are confused, simply to follow the three optional rules, you state the name of your token, its symbol, and how small you want your token to be divided. You can, for example, set the decimal places to two, which makes 0.00 one the minimum amount of your token. Or you can set it to zero and make one token the minimum amount. After we finish the three optional rules, we need to add the six obligatory functions to the smart contract. In the total supply function, we state the maximum total number of tokens we want the smart contract to create. When this limit is reached, no new tokens can be created, and no one can change this limit after the smart contract is created. The next function to add is the balance of function, which allows us to know the number of tokens someone has in his wallet. Now we need to add two more functions for people to be able to trade out token, the transfer and the transfer from functions. The transfer function allows you to send any amount of tokens you want from your wallet to anyone. For example, you need this function to transfer some tokens from your wallet to a friend's wallet. The transfer from function, on the other hand, is used by a third party to send money from your wallet to another wallet. After, of course, you give your permission. You give this third party the permission using the approve function. This function is used to allow a smart contract or a dApp to take a specified amount of tokens from your wallet. For example, you may use a dApp that requires monthly payments to be made, so you approve the smart contract and set the amount to a large number so the dApp can take its monthly payment automatically from your wallet. It's important to make sure you are interacting with safe and trustworthy dApps only, as there are a lot of scams done this way in the crypto world. Finally, we have the allowance function, which tells us the number of tokens someone allowed a dApp or and another person to take from his wallet. In the example you see right now, we can use Taylor's address and the allowance function to check the amount of tokens he allowed Rebecca to take from his wallet. You can think of it like a bank check, where someone allows somebody else to take money from his bank account. The amount allowed to be taken is specified in the check, and it can be higher than the balance in the bank account. Also, the allowance amount in a smart contract can be higher than what you currently own in your wallet. If there is no enough balance in Taylor's wallet, the transaction fails and Rebecca doesn't get any money from Taylor. After the smart contract is written, you need to deploy it and pay the gas fees. After that, you can create a liquidity pool on Uniswap or PancakeSwap, deposit some money to provide liquidity and set the prices, and then people can start buying your token right away. So, what are the benefits of creating your token as an ERC20 token? Well, it makes everything a lot easier. ERC20 tokens are very easy to create. In fact, they are so easy that there are some websites that allow you to create one right now without knowing how to code, which is why there are a lot of ERC20 tokens on the market. As of the time of this video, there are 483,561 ERC20 tokens, and this number is increasing as you are watching this video. Another benefit of creating an ERC20 token is that your token is automatically compatible with a lot of crypto wallets and exchanges. Also, when you create an ERC20 token, you don't have to pay attention to fixing bugs, to maintaining the network. Your token users will just have to pay the gas fees for verifying transactions. It is like renting a car. You don't pay for maintenance or repairs. You just pay for the gas you use.
Although creating an ERC-20 token is very easy, ERC-20 tokens are not perfect at all. One of the most obvious drawbacks here is the very high gas fees paid on the Ethereum blockchain. These gas fees increase as the load increases on the network, and they can reach as high $70 or $80 to swap some tokens. Also, when the load on the network is high, all transactions can take a while to get confirmed on the blockchain, and sometimes you can wait up to 10 minutes to get your transaction confirmed. Another well-known drawback of the ERC-20 tokens is something called the transfer bug. Remember the two transfer functions we talked about earlier? Well, when you interact with any DAP to smart contract, if you use the transfer function, your tokens will get stuck and lost forever. You should first use the approve function to allow the DAP to access your tokens. Then the DAP will use transfer from function to take the tokens from your wallet. This bug has caused approximately 3 million US dollars to be lost. At the end of this video, we hope you learned what you need to know about the ERC-20 tokens. And if you liked our video and want to reward our hard work, give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our new videos. Thanks for watching.